Hi, this is Crime and Partner, and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyrie Profile. Uh, last video, we watched the very, very long prologue. Um, this video, we're going to go ahead and watch the opening movie, and we'll get started, and we'll see as much as we can of the intro, because again, th this uh, game starts off very slowly. So anyway, let's go ahead and watch the first movie. Now this movie just kind of showcases a lot of the different characters you get and you know it just kind of looks cool with some music. Pretty nifty. Alright, with that, we're going to go ahead and start the game. Okay, now I have three difficulty levels here. Easy, normal, and hard. Now, this, this whole degree of difficulty thing is a little misleading. Uh, let, let me go ahead and explain. Alright, in easy mode, you do get more experience, so you level quicker. But the problem is, is that there's not a whole lot of dungeons in the game. On top of that the dungeons you get are some of the not as good dungeons so you're kinda limited in your equipment and like there's a few items later that'll let you uh, basically create equipment from other items and there's uh, some some little gems and stuff that you can equip and it'll actually let you make better stuff The thing is is in the easy version of the game you don't get access to this better stuff uh, because of this, you don't get access to the good equipment, so you know, or, or the abilities at that, really. So your characters are actually weaker. So this mode is actually harder than um, hard. Normal's normal. I mean, it's just in between the two. Um, hard, you get less experience, and every time you get a new character, they start at level one. Whereas in the other two difficulties, they have a preset level. But because you have access to I mean, there, there's a few dungeons you don't have access to that are in the other difficulties, but you have access to more dungeons, and the ones you do give you better stuff. And because of the better stuff, you know, you'll have better uh, equipment and abilities. The game in general is actually going to be easier on hard. Also, you'll notice um, possible endings. On both normal and hard, you can get the A ending, which is the best ending. You can't get it on easy. Anyway. Um, we're going to go ahead and play this on hard because I really don't see any reason not to play it on hard seeing as this is the full game in its entirety. So that's what we're going to go ahead and choose. Alright, so it looks like we're coming down on some sort of, like, chapel. Probably someone got hitched in Vegas or something. But, you know, you hear the wedding bells going on. And we come to a bride with no groom. Hmm. Someone got jilted.
All right, that that whole little bridal scene, um, you know, most religions, uh, weddings, you can kind of see it as a form of like a rebirth or a new life, which which kind of ties into uh, Leneth right here. How nostalgic. Probably won't make a whole lot of sense now, but it, it'll make more sense later as you, you kind of understand the way uh, the Valkyries work. And now we have to watch the opening credits, which I cannot skip. So, enjoy the music. I guess while I'm at it, let me go ahead and tell you now that while this is based on Norse mythology, they do take a lot of liberties. Um, like for instance, we're, we're going to be meeting Odin shortly. In the actual Norse mythology, he's only got one eye and he likes to wear a pointy hat. Um, I think he also has crows on his shoulders and there are like wolves at the feet of his throne. Yeah, they, they don't have any of that here. None of that. Also, we're going to be meeting Freya. Um, as I recall in the Norse mythology, Freya is kind of a player. Uh, she likes to sleep around. I'm going to go ahead and verify that after the movie, but that's what I remember of her. Freya also has a brother, like a twin. Uh, we're going to be meeting Freya's uh, quote-unquote brother, but when you see this person, yeah, that's that's no brother. It's also probably <laughs> the worst voice acting in the entire game, and it's it's only a couple of lines, but oh my gosh, it's bad. Alright, we're about the end. Looks like she's up to the to the gates of Valhalla now. It's about time. Alright, and we have control of Leneth. Welcome to Valhalla. You seem as if you're waiting for someone. Of course! I've been waiting for you, Leneth. I've been waiting since my sister Freya told me you were coming back. Has it been that long? Are you well? Yes! Oh, this is so bad. Oh, Lord Odin is waiting for you within. Of course. We will speak later, Frey. There is Odin and Freya. Thankfully, both of them have much better voice actors I'm than uh, Freya. Odin at your service. Stand, Lenneth. You have no need to kneel before us like a dweller in Midgard. I understand. I rejoice to see you again. You have been missed. And you. Lenneth Valkyrie. Yep, see? Not Two eyes, no pointy hat. Three goddesses who govern destiny without good cause. Yes, my lord. The head of Mimir has told me that Ragnarok, the end of the world, draws near. 
Ragnarok? There have been signs of unrest among the Vanir of late. It seems that we, the Aesir, will not be able to avoid war with them. Alright, well we're about out of time, so I'm going to actually have to uh, stop this we video right in warriors. the middle of the talking. Can't be helped because the talking does Midgard, not end. Below, so anyway, uh, that's it for this souls. episode of Let's Play Valkyrie Profile. Tune in next time when we continue with the talking.